Nestled among the towering mountain peaks, the tranquil monastery stood as a haven of wisdom and peace. Master Ray, a highly talented and wise leader, presided over this sanctuary. In the nearby village, a notorious figure known as Troubled Man garnered attention for living up to his tumultuous name. Filled with remorse for a dark deed in his past, Troubled Man decided to seek guidance from Master Ray. He approached the monastery, his troubled heart heavy with regret. Upon meeting Master Ray, Troubled Man poured out his confession. Master Ray, I am a very bad person. I've done something unforgivable, and the burden weighs heavily on my heart. Help me become a better person. Master Ray, with a serene smile, spoke gently, the past does not define who you are now. Focus on the present, and envision yourself as a good person. Let go of the mistakes that haunt you. How do I do that, Master Ray? Troubled man inquired, his eyes searching for a path to redemption. Forget your past mistakes as if they were lessons that shaped you. See yourself as the person you aspire to be, and gradually, you'll become that person, Master Ray advised. Encouraged by Master Ray's words, troubled man embarked on a journey of self-transformation. Day by day, he let go of the shackles of guilt and embraced the possibility of change. The once troubled soul found solace in the teachings of Master Ray and the serene surroundings of the monastery. As troubled man's demeanor changed, so did the perception of the villagers. His newfound peace and kindness became a testament to the transformative power of redemption. The story of troubled man's journey spread throughout the village, inspiring others to reflect on their own pasts and strive for personal growth. In the end, Troubled Man became a beacon of hope, a living example of how one could rise above their past and shape a brighter future. Master Ray's words echoed through the mountains, reminding everyone that the key to a better tomorrow lies in letting go of yesterday's regrets. And so, the monastery continued to stand, not just as a physical structure among the peaks but as a timeless symbol of renewal and the enduring capacity for change within every individual.